we begin tonight with a sad update to a story we've been following in Taylorsville. A woman is dead one week after seven dogs attacked her. She suffered critical injuries and had to have her leg amputated. Fox 13 News reporter Emily Tenser got a statement from her family and sat down with the local pit bull owners to get their reaction to this tragedy. I spoke to members of the Salt Lake Terriers Association who own pit bulls and want to stand up for their favorite dog. They say it's not in the dog's nature to be aggressive toward humans. Inside the Wise family's living room, their love for the American Pit Bull Terrier is literally on every wall. Just the most intelligent, um, loyal um, heart dog that you could have. Once you have one, you usually don't have anything else. They're both members of the Salt Lake Terrier Association and spend their free time competing their dogs across the country in the wall climb, the weight pull, and the treadmill race. There's probably over 100 dogs registered at the show. And there was not one incident, not one bite, not one dog off leash. We had no incidents. And that's just people that know what they own the kind of dog they own, and that's being responsible for that dog. On Halloween, a 63-year-old Taylorsville woman was attacked by seven of her son's pit bulls. She succumbed to those injuries Monday, and all of those dogs have been put down. Association President Aaron Wise says attacks like these come down to responsible ownership. You shouldn't let seven dogs just run loose in your backyard. Doesn't matter what kind they are. I mean, they turn into a pack mentality, and bad things can happen. Dina Dimler Wise also wonders whether the dogs were a mixed breed. A lot of times pit bulls is a blanket term for any dog with a big head that, you know, it's unfortunate because so many people mislabel uh, pit bulls and really don't even know what the true American pit bull terrier is. On Tuesday, the family of the woman who died released a statement saying our family would like to thank the dispatcher for staying on the phone with our mother the police officers that didn't hesitate to get to her as soon as possible. We'd also like to thank the paramedics, nurses, the doctors, the trauma team, and everyone that helped our mother. Thank you for your thoughts and prayers. I wouldn't blame it all on the dogs. I mean, it's terrible. It's terrible what happened, but uh, that's not the dog I know. The Wises are asking anyone who wants to learn more about pit bulls to reach out to the Salt Lake Terrier Association. The purpose of the group is to educate local owners, encourage responsible ownership and promote the breed. Reporting in Taylorsville, Emily Tensor, Fox 13 News, Utah.